the head of security for Mr. Chagulanyi uh, who was arrested. Yes. He was arrested. Uh, but he was not arrested by Uganda police. And I think at the moment we have established uh, that uh, it was an operation conducted by the military authorities. Let me talk about arrests in general, even to answer issue number two. Uh, first and foremost, by law, the power of arrest rests in several hands. Uh, police has powers of arrest. The army can arrest. But also what I need to, to tell you, the powers of arrest can even be within uh, civilians and ordinary persons. So that one, there's no doubt about it. What is always very important in line with the rule of law is that as long as somebody is arrested, he must be kept in a gazetted area. He must be, you either take him to court or then you release him. Now, he was arrested. He's in a, the hands of the military. So I would request that you reach out to the military authorities for details on the cause of arrest and the next procedure after the arrest. Uh, can somebody, is it appropriate to arrest somebody when you are in civilian attire? Yes, it is okay. What is most important and what we always advise our police officers is that if you are a police officer and you are not in uniform, then identify yourself. Because an, an arrested person would wish to know who has arrested him. So as a police officer, he needs to identify to you and tell you, I am so and so, this is my warrant card, may we go to place ABCD because we have interest in you. What I only want to share with you, that on the other side, you also need to know that as police, we have faced a lot of challenges where people do not succumb to decent arrests. You tell somebody you are under arrest, and what he does is he resists. Then he concentrates on complaining why you escalated your effort to make sure that you subdue him. Our quarrel starts on most occasions when people resist but then want to complain why we exercised more effort than would have been ordinary if he had accepted and sub surrendered to authority. They never question why they refuse to be arrested. Because an arrest is a lawful act. You can be arrested on suspicion and taken to police. Police is a legitimate authority. If you feel that it is illegitimate, go to court and challenge police's existence. But as long as police is an institution of government, all its actions are legitimate, the powers we exercise are privileges enshrined within the laws of Uganda. So that's where our quarrel begins from. Now, Layer, yes, it is not a secret that police has people who at times 
we excuse from putting on uniform. The first category is CID. Every adult here knows that CID officers of Uganda Police Force from time immemorial have been putting on civilian attire. It is known. So it should not surprise anybody when you, tomorrow you see a police officer in CID, in civilian attire, and then you come out to complain that you saw a police officer who was not on uniform. The most important thing I repeat, if he has arrested you, where has he taken you? He certainly cannot take you to his home. He has to take you to a police station which was constructed by the Republic of Uganda and on taxpayers' money. Yes. The human rights aspects. As Uganda police, we condone. We condone any human rights abuses. And we do not associate with any officer who at his own volition chooses to go away from the human rights code. We have a disciplinary code. It is intentional. We also have a punitive record. We punish. Actually, very many officers, where you are not, are always appearing before our disciplinary structures to answer to their sins. Reason, it is because we are intentional on discipline. Now, if there are aspects of indiscipline, which includes also human rights violations, there is one shortcut. You must report. You must reserve time to go and report so that police acts upon the report, accords the officer an opportunity to give his version, and then we move on from there. Yes.